Okay guys and gals, we have another channel update video and you want to make certain not to click out of this video too early because if you do, you're not going to understand what you're about to see happen on my channel because I'm completely restructuring this and I've been setting this up for about six months now and as a matter of fact, shortly here I will be making a new trailer video and this video will be linked to that video so everybody new coming onto my channel will know what to expect. So alright, so first of all for this video I'm going to share with the viewers what some of my goals are long term with my channel and this is going to help define to the new reloader exactly what my channel's about. So first of all, before I tell you what my channel's about and what my goals are, let me tell you guys what I don't want to be. I don't want to be this person that uh, is of celebrity status. And I don't want to be this person that runs around with a camcorder um, okay, so I get so many uh, of my subscribers asking me, are you going to the SHOT Show, right? And are you going to be covering this topic? And I believe that there is a place for social media in all that. It's very fascinating. And uh, social media does a lot better job than the liberalized media, that's for sure. But uh, for me, that's not what I want. Uh, as a matter of fact, for me, if I were to go to the SHOT Show, I wouldn't really want to take my camcorder. I would want to go there for the meat and gravy of what's there. And for me, the, really the only thing I want to do is I want to take the products that I use in my world, show you how to use them, and I'm going to show you how to take these products and go really far with them. So uh, that's one thing that I don't want to be is someone that's just going to uh, take a camcorder and begin covering companies and products. I don't want that and so based off that I don't want to be a product review channel. Why do I say that? It's because I get a lot of the new uh, the new uh, subscribers saying, hey, would you cover this gun? Would you cover this product? And no, I don't want to. I don't want to. So now based off that, let me tell you guys what some of my goals are on my channel. Then I'm going to share with you how I'm going to achieve that. I'm very methodical in how I plan things out and my approach. And I think that what you're about to hear I think for those who really want to begin developing precision loads are going to like this. So one of the things I would like to do over time is I would like to begin having a long range precision rifle built. And I would like to, for my viewers, show everything about the build that I can. I want to show you the chamber. I want to show you how we're going to measure for the chamber. I want to show you how we're going to make the perfect cartridge fit for the chamber. I want to study the ballistics and put it out there. I want you guys to see the scope I choose. I want you guys to see that when I go out and we put it on paper, I want you to see the mistakes that I make. I want to do that, but I have a problem. It takes this. Okay. So let's take that goal and put it in our wish list. Well, here's something else I want to do on my channel. I want to get it to a point where I can take a firearm, whether it's new in the box or whether it's a, a really awesome relic from old time, and we take that and we, we begin disassembling it. We, we learn everything about the chamber, the characteristics, and then we, we clean it and we bring it back together and then we load for it. We understand the chamber, we understand our head spacing, we develop the load and we go out and we chronograph for that. And when we're done, we take that, we have closure on that, and we get another firearm, right? I would like to do that on my channel, but there's one problem. 
I kind of don't have this. So let's take that wish list and set it over here for a minute. Here's another wish list that I want. I want a drink of this tea. So we can do that. I hope you guys have something good to drink. Here's another wish list that I want. I want a website. I want a website. It's not for me. It's for you. It's for people that come on. Have you guys noticed that when you go to a YouTube channel, you can't find the videos. It's, it's, it's not the channel's fault. It's that when you get so many... It's not really three-dimensional on YouTube, right? But if I had a website where people could go, and first of all, there's chat rooms. We could have a chat room for handguns. We could have a chat room for long-range precision reloading. We could have a chat room uh, talking about uh, firearms. We could have a chat room talking about fishing and camping, right? And so then there's another tab you click over, and it's like a reloading manual and its topic and you can actually see all the video choices right now hold on to that see we can't do that because I don't have this but I want to tell you more about that website in just a second so let's put this on our wish on our wish pile and now as you see we have a lot of wishes but I can't I, I don't have it so I'm the kind of person that I'm designed to where I back up and I look at my obstacle and I'm going to overcome that and we're going to it's just that instead of one obstacle we have at least three that we know of so now this is what's going to happen on my channel I'm restructuring everything very organized I'm going to be more effective with my videos because I've learned I've learned so much about making my videos the only reason I haven't started the progressive loaders for the 223556 for the AR-15 is because I'm waiting on my powder. When I get it, we'll kick that off. And when I get it, like a madman, I'm going to roar through these. They're going to be the best videos you ever saw, by the way. Now, during that time that I'm loading those, you're going to see videos coming up on the gold standard reloading videos you're going to see videos coming out on the gold standard powder measure videos okay you're going to see the bible studies coming out and everything's going like clockwork but i guess i could tell you something's going to happen in there but it already happened i guys i've been planning this for a long time and I pulled the trigger on it. You see, about four months ago, I made a video telling you guys that the direction for my channel is precision reloading. I love the Sierra Bullet, and I want to run with this. And this is the bullet that I want to use as I begin developing my rifles. Fantastic bullet. I've got the right equipment. So now, what's going to happen is this. You know, remember that one thing we want, the website? And we want it to be a lot like a reloading manual? Well, what do you think of this? You see, for our reloading manual, wouldn't it be kind of neat if I begin with the uh, 38 caliber for the 38 Special, and I begin with what? The Sierra Blitz Sports King 38 Special Load Series. And I started that with their 110 grain bullet. And then I progress through the 125. I go all the way through the 140. And next thing you know, I do a bunch of mini series. I go all the way up through the 180 grain Sierra bullet. So you see I just did my first series I've only got a few videos left so how these series are going to work out is this for each bullet Sierra has in 38 special I will do a short 15 to 20 video series because I can knock those out so you're going to shortly here start seeing in between loaders you're going to see these series coming up and they're going to be repetitive they're going to be so boring it's the same thing another bullet rim straight wall cartridge load it all load it all load it all 
and then we're going to get down with 38 special. And then I'm going to start with 357 Magnum. You want to know why? Because right now I can afford a box and a half a month. I've got all the powder, I've got all the primers. Guys, I've got the guns. See, wouldn't it make sense to start with videos that I can support with what I own with only, only a minimal purchase? So now, over the next half a year, I work on 38 caliber for three, 38 special and 357 Magnum, and I complete that. About the time I'm done with 357 Magnum, we are long done with the AR-15223, okay, and 556, and now I'm starting in 9mm, and I'm going to cover every bullet in the 9mm, and then guess what's going to happen? While I'm doing those in between those short series, I'm going to be running 9 out on all the progressives too. So you get to see 9 for every bullet loaded that Sierra has, and you get to see it ran on every progressive machine. And then when we get done with the 9, it's my choice. You see, after that, I just might be making enough on my channel that, well, let's see, I could begin affording a gun. And once I get the gun, then, because guys, when we kick the 9 mil off, I'm going to have a, a semi-auto pistol, maybe two of them on this bench. So now you're seeing that what's happening is as I'm loading for every bullet Sierra has, I'm growing in subscribers. You guys are getting the information. I'm having fun because no more of these crazy 60 and 70 and 300 video series. They're short 20 series. And then within a year, I've covered a bunch of bullets that Sierra has. And then guess what? Guess what we've accomplished? We've accomplished now. I can afford to get a firearm for a load series. We've got that knocked out. And then guess what? In about a year, I'm thinking we might have enough that the website goes up and maybe we can start with one chat room. Bingo! And guess what's on the website? Are you ready? Well, the new viewer comes to the website. What did I tell you? I like a website a lot like a load manual. Gee, starts out with 38 special for handguns. And this person that's new to reloading, they say, wow, he's got every every bullet to click on. And every time I click on the link, it takes me to the full series, right? It's like this. If I did a video showing you how to change a tire out on a vehicle, well, I'm pretty sure you could do that with any other vehicle, right? So, now, we got someone coming along and they want to load up a spear bullet. And they got the spear load data manual, and they just exchanged that out for the Sierra. Guys, they're off and running. Now you want to know the icing on the cake? The icing on the cake is twofold. Guys, it's a two-flavor icing. It is. It's like have a Sierra of a day. I gotta coin that. Have a Sierra of a day. I like that. Here, here, here's the double icing. You see. Through communicating with Sierra about four months ago, you know what Sierra said? He said, you know what? I don't care what bullet they load on. I've got everyone's load data manual. They can call me. Do you want to know what it's like when one of my customers, my subscribers, see, you guys are my customers. That's why I do this. When one of my customers, you guys, my valued customers, comes to me and you say, I have an unknown Will you help me with the recipe? So I say, well, I'll tell you what. See, I don't give recipes out because, guys, I'm just, I, I'm a, it's legalities, right? So I say, well, go over to Brandex and they'll give you the load data. My customer gets a hold of me and says they said it wasn't their bullet. They wouldn't help me. I'm like, no way. No way. So I shoot that customer my phone number. They call me. I get one of my load data manuals and I give them a recipe. I, it's an unknown bullet. I can figure bullet design, weight. I can figure that. I'm thinking, my gosh, are you serious? You know, you told me you'd help me. I sent a customer your way and you can't give them a recipe? And guess what? Everyone I send to Sierra, everyone doesn't get an answer. That's the first icing. The icing on the cake, the one that will answer it, is my precision bullet. 
I'm thinking I struck gold. That's what you call have a Sierra of a day right there. Guys, I love it. It just works everything. So I've been putting this together and that's the direction I'm going to go, but it gets a little better. Are you ready? Now, okay, Western Powders. They have their own load data manual. Follow along in the next video. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get a free copy of this. You've got to get this. For every time I do uh, a specific caliber, like 38 Special, I will do a series with their load data manual. It gives you one more load data manual, and Western Powders is Dear Labby. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing resources together on my channel for long term to where it's a website and it's got everything that you guys need because think about it I've got so many subscribers coming on and they say I, I, how do you do this and then I gotta stop and I gotta some days I get 15 questions of how to do something and I gotta find 15 videos and I gotta email them all over I could be making videos so I'm gearing down for the double down and all I can say is we're gonna have a CR of a day and we're gonna have a Western Powders of a day uh, Dear Labby is going to help out. Follow along in the next video. I'll tell you how you get a free copy of this. So, uh, and then of course we have the Handbook of Reloading Basics by Robin Sharpless. So we got the Sierra Load Data Manual. We got the Western Powders Load Data Manual and Handbook of Reloading Basics. So what we have, I, I try to set my channel up to where it's factual and you don't get the wrong information because I just, I had a guy about, it's been maybe three months ago, he comes onto my channel and he says, uh, you know, I'm wanting to, you know, self-defense, hit a human silhouette at 10 yards, and I said, you know what, why don't we just help you to reload a whole bunch so you can shoot more and you can hit a rabbit at 25 yards running. He was so happy. Why? He's reloading because he has practical data, and now he can go, he's going to he's gonna do so much better than shoot a silhouette. So I'm just trying to make this channel go somewhere. And that's why, guys, I don't want to be a celebrity. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the YouTube channel that has to have the latest and greatest caliber and fire. I just want to get the information out there to help everybody. And that's all I want. That's, that's all I want. If I've done that, I've done my job. And I got to tell you guys, when the home's paid for, I want to do a killer series on restoring my four-wheel drive truck. The 76 High Boy. See, 76 high boy roll loading. I think that one day when my home's paid off and my channel's making money, if I'm going to restore it, why don't I just show you guys? I'll show you it all the way down to the frame. I will. I'll do that. And guess what? You're going to see the Hot Wheel videos coming out pretty quick. So, guys, I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm focused. I know what I want. I'm determined to get it. And I look myself in the mirror. I looked myself in the mirror before I started the Sierra Blitz Force Master 38 Special Load Series and I asked myself, how many bullets are you going to knock out in that load down in manual? And in my heart I said, I'm going to knock as many as I can get. And if I don't get every one of them, I'll get the ones that most of my viewers are after. And when it's all said and done, we're going to have a good time. So guys and gals, that's the end of this video. On the next video, I want to talk to you about the Western Powders Reloading Load Data Guide. I'm going to tell you how to get a free copy of this and make sure that you have a Sierra of a day. Guys, I like that. So I'll see you on the next video. God bless and thanks everybody for supporting my channel. I appreciate everybody. I don't take you guys for granted. I always want to put it out there to where you're, you're safe and you don't get hurt. You don't hurt your firearm and you do something that you thought you would never ever do and that's what gun people do we make the world a better place have a Sierra of a day